I'm Kathy Wurzer. We're back live at the WDSC WRPT Media Lounge at Catalyst Conference, Catalyst Content Festival in Duluth. I always want to say Catalyst Conference, and it is a conference, but it's a festival. Nice to see you guys here. Um, we are with Stacy Malton right now and Margarita Zhitnikova. Yeah. And you're from San Francisco. And New York. And New, New York. Russia. Yeah. Okay. We're based in New York right now. This is a worldwide kind of a conference here. Yeah, um, it kind of is. <laughs> glad to have you here. Your project is called Jones. Yes, yes. it is. Tell me a little bit about that before we start the, the real, real roll the clip of tape. Jones yeah. is about inner demons and addiction and making tough choices that might be unpopular. I want to go ahead roll that tape right now. <laughs> <laughs> It. That's why I know this is a problem. What this the? means a lot to you. Stop it. I can take care of myself. I've heard that before. I remember the first day that I was here, how scared, alone, and angry I was. Please join me in the serenity prayer. God, I you serenity. to tell me about the genesis of the idea for the movie. So the bigger story is that Stacy and I are both part of a collective in New York called The Film Shop. Mm -hmm. And every year there's this event where all of the filmmakers collaborate with each other for literally no money. They just barter and like help each other out to make short stories to a theme. So that was the catalyst, if you will, for <laughs> making this story. And then this story, because I was an alcoholic for many years of my life, and I wanted to turn a, po a negative into a positive and dismantle the shame around making unpopular choices. And this is a story I could only tell because I have such an incredible business partner and director. Besties, by the way, we should mention you have Besties Make Movies. That's the business that you have, is that right? Yeah, yes. and it really is because we have such a strong partnership and we've been creating content together for several years now. Um, we finally made it official with our company. <laughs> uh, two, it's almost our two year anniversary actually. Congratulations. So yeah, so we've made a few features at this point and several shorts. Jones is one of our projects that we're really excited about because it it started off as just this kind of standalone short film. She came to me and said, I'm sorry, they came to me yes. and they said that, um, that they wanted to tell this story. And I said, okay, I'm super in, obviously. Um, and I was nervous that Stacey would be too busy. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> and so, but after we shot it, we sat down and said, okay, how this is actually part of a larger theme and larger things that we wanted to develop. So when we thought about where we wanted it to go, this is one of the festivals that we really wanted it to show at because this is a place where people are developing, you know, shorter content things into series, looking at them as both short form series, long form series. We also have a feature idea that we're developing with it. So, you know, this is kind of a place where it says, take what you're doing and expand it. Yeah. And so that's really exciting to be here at this festival. Yeah. And Phil that. has been a big champion of our work. We've been coming for three years now, and we knew right away we're like, if you know, we have to come here. <laughs> so, do you, how do you want to expand this particular project? You mentioned series, so this is just this is not a one-off. This is not going to be a feature film. It can, it can, it can be. Yeah. So we have two different ideas. One idea that we have is an anthology series. Um, where this character exists in various realities. Um, another idea is a feature film where we see, we go much deeper into the story. Of, because you know, in, a, in an eight and a half minute film, you're getting like a snippet, you're getting just a slice of what it's like to live as this character who Margarita plays beautifully in the film. Because um, she also is the star of it. Yes. Um, and so, you know, in eight and a half minutes, what can you do but show like a tiny little piece of it. So we thought that there actually is so much more to this story and that 
um, people have a lot of different kinds of inner demons that they deal with and that addiction is one lens, but there's a lot of different ways to look at those voices inside of your head that like want to claw out. Yeah. I want to ask you a little bit, uh, besties make movies and this definite power that I'm feeling here at Catalyst because in these chairs have sat several women who are quite powerful and making some amazing content. So are you feeling that um, women of your age and, and others are there's something that's yes definitely. kind of coalescing at this point yeah, in absolutely. the industry when we met it was five-ish years ago I have no concept of time but it was definitely before it was still very much like you would go to a panel of women on a film festival and they would say I don't help other women because there's only room for one you know um, and we were we met in an improv class and we were you know immediately perk ears who's this other really talented really beautiful woman uh, I'm jealous. <laughs> and then we luckily like, have been able to turn that narrative around and work together and support the shit out of and each other. And we also <laughs> like, champion, like, we make sure that our sets are hiring women in of all, all kind. kinds, in all the roles below the line, above the line, like making sure that it's, it's not just like our voices that are being heard, but that our co-collaborators are also, I mean, we work with amazing men too. I'm not saying that yes. we, and, and people of all binaries, but, but that, um, you know, it's important to us to champion not just ourselves, but to champion the fact that like, as we come up, like we want other people to be with us on that, yeah. like other women. We definitely want to use the privilege that we have to raise up other people and tell stories of characters that are in the gray area and tell, show people and give people the opportunity to tell the stories that we're not seeing in Hollywood all the time, which Catalyst is a huge platform for. for. And uh, have you screened already here? We did, we screened on Thursday and we screened yesterday. And the reaction? Uh, it was awesome. pretty great, yeah. It was, you know, we had a great crowd in the theater and that was really nice and really energetic Q and A, which was, Nice. Um, yeah, so it, it's been really, really good. I wish you both the best. Thank you so Thank much. You. And I'm so glad you're here at Catalyst. Thank, Thank you. you. We're so happy to be here. Yeah. And you can follow all of our work at bestiesmakemovies.com. Um, we're on Instagram at bestiesmakemovies and Twitter. We just finished shooting a feature film called Triple Threat. So keep an eye out for that. We yes. definitely will. Um, Join us on our mission of supporting each other and all of the wonderful people around the world. Absolutely. I like that. Uh, Margarita, thank you so much. Stacy, best of luck. Thank you. All right. And the project is called Jones. Yes. We'll be back, of course. I'm Kathy Werzer, and this is live coverage of the Catalyst Content Festival, WDSE WRPT Media Lounge. <laughs>